Hey folks, welcome to the channel. This is going to be kind of a long journey for me, but a short one for you guys. If you guys have watched my channel or some of my comparison videos, I did a video comparing this Goldwing, which is a 2005, to my 2015 Yamaha FJR 1300. And in the video I mentioned that this Goldwing with the stock windshield on it has more wind noise and more head buffeting than the FJR 1300 had with a V-string aftermarket windshield on it, which kind of surprised me. So I thought, well, maybe it's time that I start looking into windshields. So I did a lot of uh, studying on it. Um, I, I did a lot of comparisons, different windshields, looked at windshields like the F4 and things like that. You know, some of those windshields, easy to spend four or $500 on them. I wanted something that was economical, but I wanted something made in the USA. Anyway, long story short, I settled on a Clearview Shield, it's called. Uh, company's Clearview Shields, Inc., I believe. They're out of uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. I went ahead and ordered a windshield for from them yesterday. They offer, I think, for the O5s, four or five different heights. The, another thing I liked about it is you could get a pretty tall one and still get the adjustability up and down where some of the other windshields I looked at, once you got into the taller ones, you could no longer adjust them. They, they were just fixed. So I wanted one that I could still adjust up and down. But I'm going to try to get, I want to get taller and wider so that I can try to get some of that wind buffeting and wind noise down. So anyway, I ordered the windshield yesterday. Uh, they emailed me back immediately. I knew up front it would take, um, I think they advertised 15 to 20 some days or something like that. Uh, a lady emailed me back right away, said it would take about 20 business days. They make them, sometimes they have them in stock for different motorcycles, but sometimes they have to make them. So anyway, uh, my first thought was to order the 28 inch one which would be four inches taller than this one. Um, but then I thought, you know what, the next one up is 29 and a half inches tall, which would be five inches taller on the top. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna do a comparison for YouTube. I might as well just get the tallest one. I ordered it with the vent hole, but no vent. You can get a vent from them. But I'm going to use this vent because they use the Honda vents anyway. So I'm just going to take this one off when I get my new shield up and I'll put it on, on it. So I ordered a 29 and a half inch Clearview shield with the vent hole. They offer them in light gray tint or clear. I ordered a clear one. I didn't want a tinted one. And what I'm going to do is a review of both windshields. Now, as you can see, this is in the full up position. I'm not gonna do a comparison down because what's the point? Uh, I'm gonna do a comparison with both of them all the way up as far as they'll go. And by the way, that Clearview windshield, if you get, I think they're 28 or 29 and a half windshield, they're automatically three inches wider, which would be, of course, an inch and a half on each side. So this new shield's gonna be five inches taller and an inch and a half wider on each side so I'm excited to get that and try it out but it's gonna be probably a month before I get it the 29 and a half inch clear view shield shipped to my door is two hundred and ninety dollars and I know some of you guys uh, we're gonna want to know that today I'm gonna start the review and I thought well how am I gonna do it to make it more comprehensive than other windshield reviews that I see because I mean most of it is you know if you're mic'd up you got a helmet on and you're mic'd up they're going by just what you hear uh, through the microphone I thought well how can I make that better so what I'm gonna do I'm going to use my sound level meter I'm gonna hit the maximum button and as you can see it says max right now and the louder I talk, the more it'll see how it's held now on 
So I'm going to use that at different areas. I'm going to probably put it in front of my helmet to give you guys an idea of the difference right in front of the helmet in the uh, wind noise. And then I'll probably put it sideways on top of my helmet. I might try that to see the wind noise difference between the two there. So then when I get the maximum wind noise, and I'll do it at like 60 mile an hour, I might even do a test. If I can get out on the interstate, I might even do a test at 80 mile an hour. And that way we can tell in real time numbers what the difference is gonna be as far as wind noise. Then I'm gonna use this, which is my Brunton Sherpa. It measures things, like it's got an altimeter in it and things, but um, I'm going to use the anemometer, which is going to record the uh, wind speed. You can see there it is right there. You see it kind of blowing back and forth. There we go. And, of course, it's not moving right now, but. So there you can see it recorded 10 mile an hour, but right up here in this corner, it records the maximum. So what I'll do is I'll hold this right in front of my face, just like the sound level meter, and then I'll hold it up above my helmet, on top of my helmet like this. So when the wind goes through here, it'll measure the speed, and I'll compare that from the original to the new one, and we'll just see. Maybe that'll give us a better idea, or give you guys a better idea, of the difference in the two windshields. Hey folks, if you like what I'm doing, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Check out my other videos and consider subscribing. That'd really help me out. And throw me a comment. I try to answer them all. So today I'm going to take this Goldwing for a ride. Get the checks on the wind speed and the sound. And uh, then I'm going to have to wait probably a month for the new shield to come in. I'll get it installed and try to do the same thing again. Here's the email that Clearview Shields emailed me stating that they received my order and that it would take about 18 to 20 business days to manufacture and ship from the date on the sales order. That was June 5th. Just for the record, it took 26 days for them to manufacture and ship it. And yes, that excludes weekends and also the 4th of July so 26 days total time with weekends uh, from the time I ordered it until the time UPS delivered it at my door which was yesterday July 18th took 44 days so you guys that are thinking about getting a clear view shield if they don't have it in stock and have to uh, make it just wanted to let you know that it was 44 days total so just plan ahead here's the box the windshield came in it was very well packaged sandwiched in between all this thick foam and it was shipped UPS the cost for shipping was around forty six dollars before I start to swap these windshields out I thought I would just tape the new one over top of the original Honda windshield so you guys can clearly see the difference. Again, it's about five inches taller and about an inch and a half wider on each side. Got the vent hole, so I'll be swapping the vent. Here's a side view. The original windshield is all the way in the up position. And this new windshield is supposed to be adjustable. This video should give you a pretty good idea of what we're talking about. I am looking for this to make a huge difference in wind noise and to lessen the helmet head buffeting. Another thing I just noticed with this windshield being an inch and a half wider on each side puts it almost exactly in line with the lower fairing down here on each side which really makes more sense right? 
As per the instructions, I went ahead and bolted this new Clearview shield on before taking off the protective plastic. They say to do that to make sure you like the performance, make sure there's no scratches, no shipping damage, and things like that. Because if you want to return it for any of those reasons, you can as long as the plastic is still on it. Once you take the plastic off, I think they said there's a 20% restocking fee. Here is the label that comes on the windshield. You guys can hit pause if you want to read it. Okay guys, here's the Clearview windshield installed. It fit perfect. Everything went as planned. Zero issues. Didn't have to adjust or make any cuts or hog any holes or anything like that. It really is clear. And by the way, I did wax this windshield as per the instructions. I probably would have done that even without the instructions because I always kept wax on my original Honda windshield. It just makes it easier to get the bugs off. You guys know that. Uh, and the less rubbing you have to do on plastic, the better. All right, guys, hope you can hear me okay. 65, 66 mile per hour. This is the stock windshield. Gonna do the anemometer wind speed test first. Got it about uh, seven inches in front of my face. Read uh, top wind speed at 23 mile per hour. 65 mile per hour wind test on the clear view shield about six inches in front of my face at eye level running about five mile per hour put it on top of my helmet sideways 65 mile per hour stock windshield 47 mile per hour top of the helmet 17 miles per hour Okay guys, there we go, 79, 80 mile per hour, wind speed about 6 inches in front of my face, looks like 20 mile per hour, 80 mile per hour wind test, about 5 miles per hour, top of the head, max speed of 60 mile per hour, so at 80 mile per hour, I'm getting a wind speed on top of my helmet of 60 miles per hour. Top of the helmet, 80 miles per hour, about 33 miles per hour wind speed. Six inches in front of my face, no cars around, 90. Noise decibel, 65 miles per hour, about 92. Right on top of the helmet, 65 mile per hour stock shield recorded a maximum of a uh, 104.9 top of the helmet about 93 okay let's try the wind meter six inches in front of my face 80 mile per hour looks like 92.9 decibels 80 mile per hour six inches in front of the face eye level about 93 Okay, let's see what the noise is. Top of my helmet, 80 mile per hour, 109.2. Top of the helmet, about 95. Okay folks, here it is, the final test results. Man, I can't believe how much time I have invested in this project. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it. If you need to look at these results longer, just hit your pause button. If you found this video helpful or at least informative, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment. I try to answer all comments on my channel. And if you would hit that subscribe button, that would really help me out. But most of all, I appreciate you watching and thanks for visiting my channel.